Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's important video, we are going to discuss about two interview scenarios that were asked in user ready company. First one is you know, rolling tool and second one is getting our customers as top 10, 11 to 20 and others. So now these two are very important uh, interview scenarios, not only from interview perspective, but also from your real time implementation, because in many projects, there is a probability that we might be implementing at least one such a scenario. So pay attention, guys. And now let us learn how we can do that. So before I get started, started, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us these questions. And do not forget to like, share and comment. So to start off, see, rolling 12 uh, means, you know, going back to N months or N weeks or N days. This can be some probability or one probability in your project. So today we are going to do it for rolling tools. The exact question that was asked was rolling tools. But we, we will also see how we can do it for weeks and days. So basically your core formula is going to be same. Only just we have to replace one small syntax. Rolling means from today, I want sales of my last 12 months. Or from today, I want sales of my last four weeks. That is one month like that or last seven days. So this is your rolling. So for this, what is the base that I always uh, you know, uh, tell? Uh, we have to find out what is the base in such calculation. So today is our base, right? So from today, I want to go back to last 12 months. Or from today, I want to go back to last four weeks which means from current week i want to go back to this that is the situation so now first let us see if we have data accordingly so i am just taking order date but if you see i have data only till uh, 2021 just to sync it with the requirement what i'm doing is i'm creating an another calculated field called as current date and i'm just making date i'm using date add function here and i'm adding year part and i'm just adding let's say three years maybe i'll add uh, two years so now what this will do it will, it will add it to to my year part in this order date okay so just converting it according to the situation so in real time we will assume we have or we will have data till current date only then your rolling tool will work otherwise it will not work because we, we will not have current year date right so that is one problem so now i'm going to remove this and uh, i'm just going to convert this two months here okay and i'll just add uh sorry current date here so that i split it now for each year i have months now when i say rolling tool which means from our current month, March, we need last 12 months of data, right? So let us write a calculation for that. And I'm using, uh, let's say, rolling uh, 12, okay? So date diff, sorry. So we have to use date difference first, date diff of which part we need, we need month part because we are going to find out last 12 months so what i'm specifying months here of my current date from which date from today because today will give us today's date so from today's date i'm taking a month part in this and i'm taking a month part from my current date and i am doing a difference for that so first i'm going to find out this okay so rolling tool uh, difference i'm just writing just for our information purpose and i'll just convert this into maybe dimension because i don't want that to be aggregated and i'll add it here now let us understand the result of what it is giving before we actually do now see here we are in 2023 march so what it is returning it is returning zero right so all of these are negative values which are present we can we need to eliminate that as well in our calculation that we'll do later but let us understand the difference so this is resulting 
in difference. So March is 0, 0 minus 0, February is 1, January is 2, like that. So from here, I need last 12 ones, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So till April, I need, that is my rolling 12 total sales. That is the value here. So if I write, let's say less than, uh, 12 now. Now what will this become? Now this will become a Boolean statement. Okay. So just to avoid confusion, what I'm doing is I'll just keep it like this only. But instead of this, I'm creating an another calculation so that you understand how it is behaving. And I'm writing less than 12. So see, you always need to write your logic step by step only then you will understand. Okay, so I'm writing it as 12 months and I'm just keeping it as apply and I'll just take and drop it here. Now first observe what is happening. Now see here, all of this is becoming true until where, until 11 it is becoming true. But we are also, for, I mean sir, for this also it is becoming true. But we don't need this, right? Because technically if you observe according to our logic, this is also less than 12. That is why. Now to avoid this, what can I do? I can write it like this and sorry, greater than zero here. Now you see only this part that we need is true, rest is false. So we are good till here. Now we need sales for only this. Okay. Now, if you want, we can write it in this itself. If I'm writing a simple if statement. Okay. If I'm specifying this condition here, if my date difference of month is less than 12 and it is greater than zero. Okay. Uh, do not get confused. So for your ease, I will write it in multiple lines. I am keeping it in bracket because I want this to be executed together. If it is true, then give me sales. Else, zero and it. Now what will this will give? Let us check. See, it is giving us this, but just I want this to be aggregated. So I'm again just doing it sum on top. Okay, so maybe I need to remove this and drop it again. Uh, where is it? It is 12 months, right? If I drop it here or I'll drop it here for ease of use. Now see here, only for this, we are getting values. This is our rolling 12 value, simple. But we want that to be a total sum. So what we can do is just remove all of this. And you can just remove this also. This is your rolling 12 value. Okay. So likewise here we are talking about month. You can specify week, day, whatever you want. Everything will work. Just remember how we are writing. Maybe you can try it for weeks. Like say I want, I'm giving you a question here. Maybe you can try. I want the last four weeks of uh, sales. Okay. And we'll call it as rolling weeks. This is also very uh, real time situation. And same likewise last seven days of sales. And I'll write rolling week. Weekdays, I will write. Okay. So maybe you can try to build a logic similar to how we have done. Okay. Try to create a base for this. And from that, you can take it uh, and four days. So here, and one more thing to even make it more dynamic is if you observe today is a static here, whatever it is we are taking. I don't want that to happen. I want, uh, let's say, let us make it more dynamic. Based on a user selected date, I want last 12 months. 
like that so here instead of today you can also pass a parameter so you can create a parameter date and pass it here so and this should be of date type so you can create a parameter of date type and pass that here that will also work now in that case what will happen based on the user selected date it will take difference first and then it will take 12 months from that okay so observe the nature of calculation how it is you know evolving with each field that we are trying to replace okay when you are taking month it will behave in a different way when you take parameter here it behaves in a different way so maybe these three situations you can try very useful and it might come as a scenario in interview as well okay so these days they are asking and in projects also it will be very very useful okay so do comment you know if you like uh, this and let us go to our second use case where we wanted to you know categorize our customers as top 10 top 11 to 20 and others like that so this is little tricky but yes it is still achievable so to solve this what we need to do is first we need to create two sets okay so first is top 10 customers okay so approach is using sets okay i am doing it that way click on this click on create set and here what i am doing is i want top 10 customers so i am just taking uh, writing it as top 10 okay so till here we are clear top 10 i need by uh, sales okay done now we got top 10 customers now what is the next requirement here if you see we want top 10 and then we want 11 to 20 now how to get 11 to 20 is the challenge here now what i am doing is to solve this i am creating another set here click on this and uh, click on create set but this time what i am doing is i am creating top 20 okay and i'm uh, instead of by field same by instead of 10 20 and here sales click ok now here is the trick okay so top 10 we have top 20 we have fine so in this top 20 is addition of top 10 right if you agree not do like my video now we need only 11 to 20 from this which means what we need to do technically we need to eliminate this 10 so for that what i am doing is i am creating another set on top of this and i'm selecting this to click on this and i'm creating a combined set so in this what i am doing is i'm selecting only top 20 except 10 okay so i'll select this and i will write here as uh, top 11 to 20 okay click ok we got two sets now one is top 10 top 11 to 20 now we need to write a calculation to derive this that's it okay so i'll just write a uh, customer group okay if it is top 10 uh, then i want to display as uh, 1 to 10 okay and uh, else else if it is uh, 11 to 20 then i want to display as 11 to 20 else others i'm ending it okay and now i'm taking this calculated field onto my rows or column self and if i simply take my value this is the contribution now the actual question was to create a pie chart on this this is how we can create a pie chart to categorize customers as top 10 this is how it should one top 1 to 10 customers top 11 to 20 customers and others okay so i hope you find this video very useful okay and very important as well if you like it don't forget to like share 
एंड सब्सक्राइब सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय एंड हैव अ गुड डे